You'll then race to finish a fire puzzle. First try to get it done wins reward. Want to know what you're playing yeah. for? Yes, yeah. yeah, tell us. It's the biggest reward of the season. Woo! And we wanted to make it special. Oh, my God. Oh, so so we brought Applebee's to feed you. What's up? Hey, hello, everyone. Wow. So today we are here in person wearing pants for this video, doing another DIY survivor challenge, helping you all, if you get on the show, win immunity. So my name is Rachel. I'm Alyssa, and we said this was a DIY challenge, but that's kind of a lie because this is not something that we did ourselves. We were actually given this puzzle by idleplays.com, aka Russell Muscle TV. If you guys have watched our channel before, you'll know that we've spoken about Russell before for because we did a season ranking with him. So yeah, check out our link in the description to check out Russell and Idol Plays. He just relaunched the website for the upcoming season 44 of Survivor, so you definitely want to get your hands on one of these puzzles, and he also launched other puzzles on the website brand new, so you can check those out as well. So for the puzzle we are trying today, this is the fire puzzle. This puzzle has been seen on Survivor three separate times Times, first in Survivor Season 26, Fans vs. Favorites, in the final immunity challenge, Cochrane wins and goes on to play a perfect game. The next time it was seen it was in Survivor Season 27, so back-to-back -back seasons, Blood vs. Water, for a Redemption Island duel, Laura Moret and John Cody win over Cat. And then the third time was Survivor Season 39, Island of the Idols, in the infamous Applebee's Reward Feast. <laughs> <laughs> I love Applebee's. Applebee's is by far my favorite like sit down restaurant. Yes. Oh my god, yes. So let's get started and Alyssa will be trying the puzzle first. Three bags, you will use the pieces to build a fire puzzle. First person to finish wins immunity, guarantees themselves a spot at the final tribal council where you will get a chance to plead your case to the jury. So right now my strategy is just to kind of set them all out and see if I can figure out which ones are internal and which ones like are pieces that, oops, pieces that um, connect other pieces. So right now there's a bunch of like these pointy pieces that I'm finding and so I'm setting those aside because it seems like the pointy pieces are the like edges of the fire. But I think the puzzle is really cool because Russell 3D prints everything and so the pieces are really cool to like look at and touch. Yeah, they feel really like solid, which is nice. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those puzzles where once you get going, it's a lot easier, but right now I'm looking and I'm kind of like, whoa. <laughs> It feels really overwhelming. Yeah, and then imagine like no sleep, no food. Oh, <laughs> that's why they say the puzzle is the great equalizer. Yeah, I keep on like deciding where I want to start and then being like, no, that's a bad idea and trying again. <laughs> that's what I realized when I first started and I was like, wait, I actually have no idea how any of these work. Nope, that does not work at all. That also doesn't work. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of just shoving things in and hoping for the best. Yeah, but definitely I feel like it is that kind of puzzle where once you put pieces in, then it'll go quicker towards the end mm -hmm. because there's less options and less pieces. Just the start is very overwhelming. I think part of it is too because they're such abstract shapes, you don't know like which way is up. And so it's difficult to be like, oh, this puzzle or like this shape definitely goes this way. I feel like part of it is you have to be really methodical, otherwise you might end up using or trying the same piece multiple times, which wouldn't be fun. John steadies his puzzle. He's got a lot of pieces in. John very close to finishing this puzzle. John places his last two pieces in. John has survived. I feel like I've tried that piece like seven times right there. I want to know like the average time that each of the winners of this challenge won it in, whether it was like really fast or longer. Yeah, I feel like it should be longer, but that also might just be because right now I'm feeling bad about myself. <laughs> Cause I could see like on average it taking like 15 to like 45 minutes for people to do. I think it's also one of those things where in the show you have other people to look at. And mm -hmm. so like, 
if the first piece is the one that's hardest to get in, then it then becomes easier because you might not have to find the first piece by yourself. You might just be able to look at someone else's first piece and be like, oh, they did this. Can't look at Laura's. It's cheating. It's okay. It's, it's not like cheating. cheating. She's doing it. Come on, that cat struggling with the ethics of it. There's nothing wrong with looking next door. Your game, your rules. That piece you're trying to fit, Cat, is smooth. It's smooth on the outside, and it curves on the inside. Yes. I feel like I've tried basically every piece to go in there, and I know that I haven't, or I would have found the piece by now. But, okay, I'll try a different one. <laughs> Part of me is like, oh, I should just try and put as much of it together while on the table as possible and then, you know, try and put it together like 3D-ish once um, I have stuff to put together, you know? I feel like I'm getting close. Oh, ooh, I did it. I was about to say, I feel like I'm getting close to finishing that section. Yeah, it's like you have a lot of pieces connected. Yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of like connecting them fully, I guess. So it looks like this one has quite a big space missing, and so I'm looking for something that will like fill in this space. Honestly, kind of just mashing pieces together feels like it's working better than making a concerted effort. <laughs> I'm also trying to figure out like the orientation of this one, because I feel like if I can like slot this one into place, it'll make more sense how the rest of them fit. Yeah. But I'm not sure if I like actually have the piece there that will connect. No, here Jeff would be like, Alyssa, Scott, 10 pieces left, but also <laughs> some blobs of pieces. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, don't, don't give me too much hope. Aaron and Jason are down to three pieces. Make it two pieces. Make it two one piece. piece left. We need one piece left. Jeff, Jeff. Cause right now I feel like I have the majority of the puzzle done and it's just a matter of putting things in the right places. Yeah, it's like you just need like the two connectors and everything else will connect it looks like because yeah. you have the big like chunks. You see, now I'm looking for a very specific shape. So you would think that it would be very easy to find this very specific shape, but is it easy? Yeah, like a three prong there. Yeah. Oh! Nice. Nice. I keep coming back to this one dumb thing because it's so... Yeah, like that one's definitely a middle piece. <laughs> Yeah, but I can't figure out where in the middle it goes or how in the middle it goes. And this is another one where it feels like it should be easy because there's like this long skinny bit. So why is this so difficult? It feels like it should be so easy. And then it's not. Cochran down to his last piece. Cochran wins. Oh my gosh. Final oh immunity. My gosh. It's guaranteed oh a spot God. at the final tribal council. Oh my God. Yeah, so close. Oh. I think I see now how these two fit together. Oh, one blob. Nope, I had it the right way before. One thing I just realized is that with this one, you can kind of see what the right side is because the two different sides of the 3D print look kind of different. Yeah. I didn't use that throughout the puzzle, but. Woo! The finished product. Yay! <laughs> so I feel like the timing, I would be very interested in knowing the average times of like people that have bought the puzzle and have completed it, the winners of the challenges. Cause for Alyssa, it was like 25 minutes. When I first did this puzzle, it was like 30 minutes. It's a challenging puzzle. And then add on top of that, not eating, not sleeping. Uh, I could see it taking a long time. Yeah, I feel like this puzzle, one of the key things is you have to be good at 3D visualization, which I'm not. And so like, I would think that like, oh, this piece definitely fits here and it wouldn't. So I feel like the better you are at 3D thinking, obviously the easier this puzzle will be. I know I've done a lot of 2D puzzles and those are easier because you kind of rely on like the picture printed mm. on them. So yeah, that is us trying Russell Muscle TV's fire puzzle from Idol Plays. He just relaunched the website. It is live until April 4th with five puzzles and games for you all to check out. So definitely check out that link in our description to check out Idol Plays. And you could try one of these puzzles at home 
home. If you do, do please let us know how long it took you and your family to do this puzzle. Yeah, let us know whether or not you like this puzzle in the game, whether or not you think that there's cooler puzzles, and maybe also drop a comment about what puzzle you, you would be interested in seeing Russell do next. And we will see you guys soon with another video. Bye. You're not gonna break up me, are you? <laughs>